Welcome to Simba Life, a Christ-centered community envisioning to bring the gospel to every home, communities, and nations. Worship happens at home. To bring God's light to every family, here's the recap of Sunday Simba Life's message. Pinaka the best siguro ng identity na tatatlo sa aning generation is not as a Christian but a disciple. Discipleship is the foundation of being. I follower kinahang lang yata gaan na tong dakug value ang discipleship kabalo mo ano simple lang para na akay distinction before we can go we must learn how to follow following causes you to become more familiarized sa process kung unsa o di mo pagbuhat para sa ako binipisyo ang pagfalo ni Lord ganon man kabalo ko na kung magfalo ko ni Lord na ako y security sa akong destination whatever journey ng imong agian as you follow the Lord sigurado Naagyud kay maayong paingnan Japan. Following is being tested by circumstances. Following is being tested by challenges. But no matter what the challenges are, no matter what the circumstances are, as long as nagafollow ka, binipisyo Japan sa imo because you are following the right person, you are following the right process, you are following and walking to a path na gipreprepare yun ni Lord para sa maayong ang paingnan. Maayong buntag simbalay. Inay mo katapat maayong buntag. So kanwa, kamusta siya? Kamusta siya na? Ina siya good morning. So come on now, wherever you are, let's stand up. Stand up on to our feet, no? Let's stand up. Hallelujah, oh God. Lord, we welcome you, oh God. Lord, sa mga mga simbalay, so God and Lord, Lord today, oh God, Lord, have your way in this place, oh God, Lord, have your way, oh God, Lord, sa mga every camp, oh God, na Lord, nagit kay buhaton, oh God, Lord, matagusa sa mo, oh God, and Lord, we honor your name, we praise your name, in Jesus' name, we pray, Amen. Come on, let's clap, up, let's clap our hands to Jesus, Hallelujah. Oh God, Lord, we worship you, oh God, Lord, we give you praise, we give you thanks, Hallelujah. Of the 
gospel of Jesus Christ How could he ever walk away From the one who saved my life But no, I'll never be ashamed Of the gospel of Jesus Christ How could he ever walk away From the one who saved my life Oh, no, I'll never be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ How could I ever walk away From the one who saved my life All praise and No praise to God the Father No praise to Christ the Son No praise to the Holy Spirit And our God is overcome the King who was and is and evermore will be In Jesus' mighty name I believe No praise to God the Father No praise to Christ the Son No praise to the Holy Spirit And our God is overcome the King who was and is and evermore will be In Jesus' mighty name I believe In Jesus' mighty name I believe And I believe, I believe Still wonderful in our lives hallelujah oh god lord we give you thanks we give you praise oh god and lord today oh god lord simbahun kanam oh god lord we will sing praises we will sing oh god and lord we will exalt your name on high jesus hallelujah oh god hallelujah jesus oh jesus oh god lord we welcome you oh god oh we worship you Oh 
has Christ in them no has access nagi chay access dia sa gino and I believe that because of Christ in us si Lord nag involve siya sa imong life si Lord uh, upan kanunay ni mo si Lord nakabalo sa imong kahintang muna karong buntaga I want you to have that faith that in Christ you are free that in Christ you are healed that in Christ No, we have that victory that comes from Him. Amen. Wherever you are, 
I want you to raise your hands to the Lord. Thank the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord, you are the way, you are the truth, and you are the life. Lord, because of you, Jesus, we have this access to the Father. Because of you, Jesus, we have the victory that comes from you. Lord God, you defeated the enemy 2,000 years ago upon the cross. Lord, you deliver us, Lord. You pay our sin. Lord God, you heal our diseases through the blood of Jesus that comes from his back. Today, Lord, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, your people are free. Your people are delivered, Lord. Everyone that calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. All right now, God has given you the freedom. Allow your inner man to rise up. Oh, Lord God, we thank you. Lord God, we thank you for the victory. Lord God, we thank you for the healing. Right now, Lord, we continue to declare and believe that you are the God that healed us. Lord, hallelujah. You are involved in our lives. You are directing us. Your word says, Lord, that even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Right now, Lord God, you are with your people, Lord God. You are the one that fights our battle. God, our situations, whatever things that we face, we believe, Lord, that you are with us. Oh, we thank you, God. We bless you. We honor you. Come on. hands raised wherever you are in Christ you have you have a future in him our future in the Lord is to be with him forever amen hey, whatever situations that you are facing right now you have been in a challenge I want you to know God is with you hallelujah I want you to know that God is there with you hallelujah he is your strength Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, your word says, Lord, that you are our defender. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our help comes from the Lord. Our strength comes from the Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. My life is in you, my Lord. My strength is in you, my Lord. My hope is in you, my Lord. My future is in you, my Lord. My family is in you, my Lord. Hallelujah. Ecclesians is in you, Lord. And everyone that connect with us, wherever they are, you know them, Lord. You see them, Lord. And I pray and declare that their lives is in you, the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, right now. We recognize your presence. Lord, that even, Lord, sa mga simbalay, even, Lord, sa mga taong sila lang, I believe there is no distance, ay mo, Because you are the Alpha, the Omega, Lord. You are beginning and the end. You are the omnipresent God. You are the Ancient One. You are Yahweh. You are El Shaddai. You are our Jehovah. Our Elohim, you are the God that we serve, who gave his son for us to save us, not only to save us, but to rescue us, to bring us back to the Father. Okay, Lord, thank you for this privilege that you make yourself known to us, God, through your son, Jesus. We thank you for saving us. We declare, Lord God, and declare we praise you this morning. You are a good God in our lives. We praise you and bless everyone that are in Simbalai. Everyone that connects to us, Lord God, online. I decree and declare your favor, your blessing, your touch. 
You are involved, you're involved in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And all the people of God will say, Amen, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. No, before kamu lingkod, no, siguro ka nang nasa mong wala, nasa mong to, no, kumusta siya. Ina nga, the Lord bless you and keep you today. Amen. Hallelujah. God make you strong in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, so please be seated in the presence of the Lord. Last Sunday, you know, Brother Elios, one of our primary 12, one of my 12, uh, talked to you about discipleship, the benefits of being discipled. And I believe myself also is a result of someone that is discipled. Now, as I, you no. Know, pondering about this kinibang uh, tao nga na disciple, itong tao na na disciple, in the Bible talaga yung talagang nag-survive, talagang nag-persevere no? sa, sa pag, pag-serve nila kay Lord, sa pagbuhat sa call or sa yung paggawa sa calling nila kay Lord. No? There are people that are really discipled. Now remember, we have the message. No, there is a message that God gave to everyone. First, because of that message of the gospel, you receive it, you believe it, and you are saved. No, you are changed by the power of the gospel. And not only nga, na save ka, na transform ka. But you are commissioned also to tell others concerning the message that you have received. Amen. Now, in my readings this 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 week, no, I'm reading about no the the, the, the letter of Paul to Timothy and kita na ko yung mga mga issues na talagang uh, Paul, the man of God, wrote to Timothy. And one of these is not about the faith that he had. No? Nakita na ako na uh, Paul gave warning no, to Timothy and to all the believers about what's happening or what's going to happen no, sa, sa last days. Okay, so 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Sabi niya, now the Holy Spirit tells us clearly that in the last times, some will turn away from true faith. They will follow deceptive spirits and teachings that comes from demons. Now, this, these things are operating. Kaya, usa sa mga gisulit, gisulat ni Paul, no, sa yang letter to Timothy, he was at uh, giving warning and, and telling Timothy that even ang iyang co-worker named Demas was what? Deserted him, abandoned him because, sabi ni Paul, because the love of, because of his love for this world. Muna nga, it's only te- the teaching that uh, really um, attacking our faith is not only no about Antichrist or anything but even no how the world no present himself to you now, a lot of people because of what you have seen and heard no nagkakaroon ka ng desire for it mo na nga daghan nag decide daghan nag turn away daghan nag bugnaw now they lost their fire in serving the lord hello amen because no sabi niya deceptive spirits Hello, anything that gives you discouragement, anything that causes you no, to become cold in your service, kay Lord, in your commitment, no, it is a spirit behind. There is a spirit behind. Amen? Kaya we are not fighting against flesh and blood, but against the powers 
no, of this dark world as what Paul says in the book of Ephesians. Amen? So sabi niya dito, now the Holy Spirit tells us clearly that in the last time, some will turn away from true faith. No? Kasi yung true faith talaga may standard. Amen? Pag totoong pananampalataya, totoong faith, no? May standard. May totoong commitment. Lumalaban. Hello? Okay. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 to 5. Medyo taas ni. Sabi niya na, you should know this, Timothy. Tanawin mong tapat. No, kung kaila ka na, kung kilala mo siya, yung katabi mo, sabihin mo sa kanya, pangalan niya. Hey, Ching, no, my wife. You should know this. That in the last days, there will be, what? Very difficult times. For people will love only themselves under money. Yeah? Dili daotan. Di man masama yung nag-progress. High-tech na kayo. Diba? Talagang nag- Grabe ng technology. Grabe ang progress sa mga cities. Sabi niya, for people will love only themselves and their money. They will be boastful and proud, scoffing at God. Disobedient to their parents and ungrateful, they will consider nothing what? Secret. Ah. Grabe talaga. Kaya kung, kung mag-observe ka, no? yung makikita natin sa social media minsan. May mga taong nag, ano eh, nag experiment Do you know Jesus? Do you believe Jesus? No way. Grabe talaga. Yung nakita ko, matanda na siya ba? Kunti na lang yung buhay niya. Tapos, he is that kind of a, that kind of a perception sa life that he will not believe. Jesus. No? Wala nang hope para sa kanya. Pag siya hindi maniniwala. No? The Bible says there is no other name that is given to men for him to be saved. It's only by the name of Jesus. Hello, amen? Okay? They will be unloving and unforgiving. They will slander others and have no self-control. They will be cruel and hate what is good. They will betray their friends, be reckless, be puffed up with pride and love pleasures rather than God. No? Kaya they love pleasures rather than loving God. No? Tingnan mo katabi mo. Sabi mo, do you really love God? Ha? Because I believe pag love natin si Lord, uh, we give Him priority sa life. Amen ba? He is our pursuit sa life. We live a life that is really pleases Him. Amen? Our lives, no, is what? Is, no? It costs God na sabi sa, ma- malipay siya. No? Can you ask yourself, Lord, nalipay ba ka sa self na ko? Lord, I, I, are you pleased with my life? <laughs> Kaya usas sa mga ano yan, kaya ginatanaw na to na evaluation sa life. No? Kaya, I make a title out of this verse sa preaching natin ngayon. Ang title ko is, Protect Your Faith at All Times. Diba common nga saying sa boxing, Protect Yourself at all times. Kaya this morning, protect yourself, protect your faith at all times. No, according to the scripture that we read, because our faith will will be, really be attacked. Amen ba? No? Our faith is talagang um, ina-attack ng enemy. 
And He uses a lot of things. Not just to pull you out from that journey of serving the Lord because of your faith. Now remember our faith and belief system will cause us to have values alike. Kaya yung paniniwala natin kay Lord that He is holy God. Paniniwala natin kay Lord that no, uh, about who He is in our lives. Paniniwala natin that we are saved from our sin. It, it is the one that causes us to make or to give value sa life natin. We are making value because of our faith. Binavalue natin yung prayer life natin, yung walk natin, yung uh, how we live our lives. Be, talaga, because of the faith that we have. Kaya yun ang target ng enemy sa life natin, yung faith natin. Kaya the moment pag may no, may yung faith natin is challenge or yung faith natin medyo uh, dili na kayo siya ingon anak ka, ka solid then makita po dayon sa imong pagvalue sa mga buluhaton sa Lord makita nato sa to ang commitment sa pagserve sa Ginoo no so nganuman no why our faith is been attack why our faith is talagang ina-attack ng enemy. Now, kaya nga, si Jesus, no, when, before he was crucified, makita nimo he told Peter about the fate of Peter, di ba? Sabi niya, Peter, Peter, Satan wants to sift you like a wet. But, sabi ni, ni Jesus, I prayed for you, Peter, that your faith will not fail. Amen? Pero pag makita ni mo si Pedro, nadinay mo niya si Jesus three times. Hello? But ang prayer ni Christ, ang faith ni Peter. Amen? Kaya nakaanak ko sa Lord ko, Lord, no? There are times we fail. There are times, no, yung mga responses natin, talagang, Lord, it's very opposite sa dapat na makita sa, sa, sa mga responses ko. No? But, maki, but makita ni mo dito that the Lord, sabi niya, but I pray for you, Peter, that your faith will not fail. Kaya even Peter, na deny niya si Christ, no? makikita mo dito that he, what, nagbabounce back siya. Na? nagbabounce back siya. Kaya faith talaga is is so important sa life natin. So why inatak ni why inatak yung faith ng mga believers? Why we need to protect our faith in Christ? Kay yun talaga yung ano eh. Uh, yung pinaka main no? Para bang main substance natin sa connection natin kay Lord. Ang Bible the Bible says no, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Ha? Kaya, kung nakikita natin na yung faith natin ina-attack, dapat kinukultivate natin. Hello, amen? Dapat, I pray na sa lahat ng nari- na- nakikinig ngayon, sa tanan nga na mati good karon, no? Kasi bisan asa na good lugar, wala ni sa pagpabright. No? Siguro ang faith, para na nis na kay eskwela, dili. Kahit naara mo dia sa bukid, kahit anaw ni mo grade 1 lang ka, elementary ka lang, pero di ni mo mabasa sa Bible nga silang, silang Abraham nag-eskwila. ba? But they have faith kay Lord. Ah? Kasi a lot of things could happen sa life if we could have that faith in Him. Amen? Kaya nga inatak inatak am faith because number one, ito yung nakikita ko. Because our faith in Jesus is the only thing that can save us. Amen? Our faith in Christ, no, we are saved. Amen? That is what the Bible says. That whoever believes in Him will not perish. Tanan nga mito niya, dili malaglag. Amen? 
Ha? Tanawin mong tapad. Uh, authentic ba na nga faith? Kaya ang faith na to wala sa reliyon. Ang faith na to wala sa tao. Hello, amen. Our faith is in Jesus Christ. That we believe that He died, that He rose again. Amen? We believe that He is the Son of God. Hello? Kahit ina-attack yung faith mo. <laughs> But you believe Him. Amen ba? Kaya nga si Mary, when, when uh, Mary and Martha, sa, sa diya nga, namatay si Lazaro, no? grabe sila. They was, talagang nag-mourn sila. And Jesus was there. He wants to raise up Lazarus back to life. Kaya wala siyang ibang question kay, kay, kay Martha. Do you really believe? Do you believe? Hello? Tingnan mo yung katabi mo. Ina nga, nagtuo ba ka kay Jesus? Ang imong pagtuo ni Jesus, Brad, muna yung makaluwas ni mo. Amen. Muna yung maghatag sa transformation sa life ni mo. Amen ba? No? Basic lang to. And I believe that our faith in Christ is the only thing that can save us. Our faith in Him is the reason why we are connected to God. John 1.12 To them that believe, to them that receive, they gave the right to become children of God. Kaya nga na, 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 nakikita ko ba, Lord, is so important and the faith and your faith, our faith is so powerful. Kaya it also starts that a person must hear the message, the gospel message, so that he can be saved. Amen? Pag ang tao, pag, pag ang tao mag-pray kay Lord without hearing the gospel, his prayer, hindi yun, na, na, hindi yun ma, hindi ma-receive the Lord yun. Because God will not listen to the prayers of what? The unrighteous and wicked. Kaya the only thing that people could come to the Lord is they have to hear the message of salvation about Jesus. Kaya nga si Lord, He raised up people and everyone that has Christ in them is commissioned by God to really speak the gospel to others. Because the gospel is the only reason or the only requirement people could believe Jesus, receive Him, for them to have relationship to the Lord, for them to connected, to be connected back to the Lord. It is through the gospel. Amen? That is what people, no, kanang gikinahanglan yun sa tao karun nga time. No? Kaya our faith will save us and our faith could make us victorious. Amen? First John 5, check going on that. For every child of God defeats this evil world. And we achieve this victory through our faith. So not only that our faith can save us, but our faith will make us or cause us to overcome this evil world. Huh? Kaya ang Bible lagi yun, this is evil world. Kaya hindi ka para dali sa kalibutan. Para ka kay Lord. Dito sa place ka gingo ni Lord, in my Father's house are many mansions. Christ prepared something for us. Hello, amen. Verse 5. Ang siya gingo niya. And who can win this battle against the world? Only those who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen? Ha? Huh? Do you really believe Jesus? Yung ano magtinalawan man ta, di ba? Nga ano mo surrender man ta pag-alagad sa Lord? The only way for us to overcome pag yung faith natin kay Christ talagang authentic, talagang genuine. Hello, amen? 
Ha? Revelation 3.21 Hang on Jesus there. Those who are victorious will sit with me on my throne. Just as I was victorious, sat with my father on his throne. This is the last book of the Bible. No, this is what G, uh, John saw. Sa yang revelation about Jesus. Hello, amen. Kaya yung faith natin, one day, ha? Huh? One day. No? Yung faith mo talaga, yun talaga yung pag-asa para tayo masave. Amen? Kaya we have to protect our faith. Amen? Ayun ayo yun yung nabatasan ng pag na problema, si Lord ang mapiktahan na yun. Ang imong pagpangalagad sa Lord, ang imong commitment kay Lord. Diba? Matingala ka, no? Na yung mga tao yung na na. Na lay challenge sa life, na lang siya siyang season nga lesod kayo. Mawala, dritso. Mangita na siya sa iyang kaugalingon. At tinod ba yung anay faith sa Lord? Is ano eh? Obedient. Ah, if you believe me, come follow me. No? Dili, si Lord ang nag-design sa imuhang way to serve Him. Dili ikaw ang magbuot kung saan mo pag-serve sa Lord. Di, dili ni mabuhat ang kabutuyon sa gino. Kaya instead, ganang ka sa moment and season sa promise, process sa gino sa ibang life, wala man. Surrender naman na yung ka. Mulikay man ka, mubiya ka. Sabi ng Lord, kaya wala ba process? Hello, Amen. Kung tinood ka na yung faith kay Lord, gain trust na yung life sa ginoo, kahit tanaw ni mo ang kahimtang, Lord, murag, murag lisod man kaayo. Oo. Kay lahi man ang ato nakita sa nakita na, sa ginoo sa ato. Amen? Kaya yung ng Bible, sabi niya, my ways are not your ways, nor my thoughts, your thoughts. Hello? Kaya nga, sa atin, mga experience natin, hindi natin pwede na yung faith natin, no? We allow our faith to be affected by what situations nga itong nagyan. Hello. Ha? Dapat yung faith natin is authentic and immovable. Ina yung tapat authentic, genuine, immovable. Amen? Ang genuine, kaya mo handle pressure. Ang authentic, makita ni mo panahon nga siya sulayan ba yun. Amen? Ha? Ang gold, maklaro ni mo ang iyang tinood pag iagi siya og acid. Pag iagi siya sa fire, mas mo sinaw. Kaya kung niagi kag situation, dapat ibang faith sa gino, mahimong mas maklaro. Amen? Hallelujah. Kaduha, why we need to protect our faith? Why our faith has been attacked? Ikadalawa, ikadalawa is because Faith makes the impossible possible. Hello? Faith is so powerful. Because faith makes the impossible possible. Ha? Mark 9.23, si Jesus mismo na gayon. No? Anything is possible if a person believes. Mas yung mga secular people ba, especially yung mga in, mga tao bitaw na tinatawag na to mga motivational speaker. Grabe sila ni. Dapat bro, maniniwala ka na makuha mo, makaya mo. Mas maayo pa ning mga tawhana. Huwag basa sa Bible pero na mga prinsipyo sa Bible. Ilang gituhan. Kaya makita ni may ilang life na ay nangahitabo sa life. Kaya your faith mix makes impossible becomes possible. Kaya there was a scripture written by Paul, sabi niya, God can do immeasurably more than what we can ever ask or imagine. Kaya pag may mga butang na imong gitunguhan nga mahitabo, no, dili lang na siya tuo lang na tuo. Kaya for me, ang tinood nga pagtuo, 
makita sa imuhang adlaw-adlaw na ginabuhat towards sa imong gituhan. Ha? Ang sato magod dito ko Lord, niya, wala lingkod-lingkod na dayon ta. Wala may tabo. No? Kasi yung faith hindi lang to faith about Christ, but faith about no the assignment that God gave us. Kaya nga si 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 isa sa mga great example na kumani si Caleb. Caleb was just a what? A spy. And and he been to places talaga na for him he was he described it as a very good place. Pero lang it's a place of the giants. Kaya what he has seen, what he believes, sabi niya, kaya na to, mabuhat na to. Even those 10 people, yung kasama, mga negative. Numbers chapter 14. Kaya gina niya nga, hey, paghilom na ganin mo. We can swallow them up. We could have those things because that is the promise of God. Kaya he faced Joshua. No? He faced Joshua. He talked to Joshua. No? In the book of, mga later part, I think in the book of Joshua, Caleb was there. Sabi niya, Joshua, I am 45 years old. When the Lord, when the man of God, Moses promised me about the place that I went through, or I went to. Siya, give me that place because I am still vigorous. Grabe talaga, ha? Huh? Now give me the hill country that the Lord promised me that day. You yourself here then. That the Anakites were there. Grabe gipilit pag ito mga lugar sa mga higante. That the Anakites were there. And their cities were large and fortified. But the Lord is helping me. I will drive them out. As I said. Grabe talaga. As he said. Diba? Then Joshua blessed Caleb son of Jebunim and gave him Hebron as inheritance because he believed the promise of God. Hello? Kaya so important sa, sa pag-serve mo kay Lord sa pag-alagad din mo sa ginoo na ba kay nakita ngayon mong gituuhan nga may tabo sa imong life? Kaya kung yung pag-serve sa ginoo uban-uban lang muna nga o sa may tabo dawaton na lang. Kaya huwag makaigyo na huna ng imuhang buhaton of which dili na design ni Lord para sa mga kristohanan. Nang imo pag-alaga, naghulat lang kang unsay may tabo. Na ay saad si Lord na dapat ni mong maabot. Na dapat ni mong tuuhan. Na dapat i-align ni mo yung life din dapita. Kaya nga si Caleb, 85 years old. Mo'y, nag, mo'y, mo'y, mo'y reason, I believe, naghatag og inspiration sa young life. Wa siya gano'n na siyang edad. Nagunaw na siya sa saad sa gino'n. Maabot niya. Makita ni mo na nga butang nga imong ma-acquire, mabuhitabo sa imong life, kay naagi na kanunay sa imong hunon ang imong kabuhaton. Tandaan ni mong gina-build up karong nga panahon, dito na nakasintro one day. Tandaan nga imong ang gina-mix up tanan. Tandaan nga imong ginabuhat lahat ng ginagawa mo this time. Kasi may nakikita ka sa. Amen? Dili design sa ginoon na sa ato nga survival lang ha? Diba? Isang kahig, isang tuka. It could be at first, kaya di ka mo gasto, kaya nakay, yun ako na ang makanegosyo ko. Siguro, mga by December, ganito. kaya na nag, nag ano ako ngayon, uh, naghigpit ng sinturon. Kasi may dream ka. May nakita ka. Hello, amen? Kaya I pray and declare sa lahat ng may nakikita. No, lahat ng may pinaniniwalaan. Within this year ends, I decree and declare, no, mahitabo siya sa imang life. Amen. Amen. No? Kaya nga, dili pwede mahitabo ang imang gituhuan pag wala ni mo, wala ni mo gi, gipreparahan sa imang sap. Wala ni mo ginang work out. Amen ba? Because faith is so powerful. Ah, faith is so powerful. Diba? Kita mismo sa, sa church. We believe. We keep on declaring. Amen? We have this kind of expansions. 
we could invite these people nga so impossible to invite. Pero kita din mo ngayon, Lord, nakaschedule na, they are coming. Hello? Pero back then, parang imposible talaga. Because we believe and we do actions. No? Kaya si Lord, I believe, He is going to grant it. Dili mo mapikas ang dagat pag si Moses, dili mo lakaw padulong dito. Hello, amen. Ha? Katulo. Ito, faith is the currency to possibilities. Why faith is being attacked? Because our faith is the currency to possibilities. Pamati ganin mo. Ha? Kanang faith ni mo? Kung nagtuo ka nga makamotor ka, ang faith mo ikwarta. Hello, amen ba? Ganun talaga. Ang faith mo ikwarta na ako para mapalit ko na ang akong gusto. Ha? Dili siya literal ni mo na nga muato ka lang, manguha ka lang na hindi to. Ang bining, ano man, ako'y faith. Na, napapusasan ka. <laughs> Dili ko na na, ha? But because of that faith, you are going to work on something. For that, nga mahitabo. Ha? Like this week, no? Sabi ko kasi I really make a, make a promise kay Lord ba? Because before I was leading worship, I'm part of the band. Kaya nga makikita ko yun dati, yung mga ginagamit namin instrument. Pag magigitara ako, walang distortion, pat distorted na yung tundog ng amplifier. Grabe talaga. Tapos may minsan pa, tatadyakan mo pa ba? Para tumut, para ano ba? Magiging matino yung tunog. Diba parang disciple? Minsan, sipain mo, para, <laughs> para magtarong ang utok. There was a time I was playing drum and then pag, pag ruling na ko, bay, bumagsak yung floor tam. Lamik kayo mong ruling, pag bunal mo sa simba, sa mga nagdukduk, o takob sa kaldero, bang! God. Kaya sabi ko, Lord, one day pag gamiton ko ni mo, Lord, magpastor ko, kutob sa mahimo, wakaya na ko, nagwapo nga instrument, ako ginambuhaton. Faith lang yun. Ah, faith lang yun. Kaya, nakita na ako, no Lord, salamat kayo. No? We have instruments talaga for the glory of the Lord. Amen? Kaya mga musicians, Ginaasar na ako na sila. Grabe, gwapo na kayo instrumento. Yung tinugtugan. Grabe, God. Pero dili para, pang, dili para kay Lord. Kung para kay Lord, nag improve ta. Kaya natin nakita nga mas maayo. Amen? Kung na gina provide si Lord, pero dili ta mag-improve, masayang na ang opportunity. Instead, ikaw, maanto na sa lain. Amen? Kaya dapat nakita ni mo, Lord, one day ganito mangyari. One day, Lord, ganito. And yet you are doing something. Because our faith is the currency to possibilities. And this kind of faith, especially tayo na nagsiserve kay Lord, is applicable to a lot of things. Amen? Amen ba? Nagtuo ka nga mudako yung network. Nagtuo ka nga makompleto yung 12. Nagtuo ka nga makanegosyo ka. These are ingredients. Walay mahitabo nga kalit lang. Magsugod sa pagtuo. Kung nakay pagtuo, makita ni mo, you are praying for it. You are desiring for it. No? And you know what? Pag makikita yan ni Lord, God will just make a lot of things. Connections, no? mga destiny helpers, 
ibutang na na ni Lord sa mo. Hello, amen? Kaya dati, I am declaring, di ba? Remember mo, Lord, na yung mga tao, Lord, mag, mag-abot sa ingon aning mga income, monthly. Hindi ko malimutan na. They're at, at, at sky high before. Pag human ako, declare na, makampo ba yung Lord God, nakasulti yung guwana, Lord, kinagtuo ko, pero unsaon ka na, Lord, no? Kung mahitabo. But I believe. Kaya nangahitabo, amen ba? Ha? O gai pray nga di rakadya kutob. Kamong nai nahitabo na, may nga, wow, okay na kayo may nga ni, ayaw. Dako kayo trabaho. Amen ba? Because nata sa work sa gino, dako dapat ang mahitabo pa. Amen ba? No? I believe ang budget ihatag sa ginoon ni mo, depende sa project nga imo ang nakitaan. Hello, amen? Pero nakontento ka ng imong gamay diha. Mo na makita na ako, di mag-improve ang imo ang life. Di di mag-improve imo ang ministry. Pero I believe proportion ang ginahatag sa ginoon. Amen? Hindi mo tapad, faith is a currency. Kung daghan currency ni mo, dako kayo imong currency ka nabit-bit. Di ba? Dakog value nga currency. Then dagkong mga imposible nga mahimong posible. Amen ba? I pray and declare. May tabo din sa imong life. Amen? Hallelujah. No, Philippians 4.13, on sa ginip po yung Paul, I can do everything. I can do everything. Everybody dig- says this verse, I can do everything. Everything again in yourself. I can do everything. Simbalay, declare. I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Grabe, huh? Kung masabtan na gidi mo ang pamagi sa kinu, wagi iwit. Kasi si Lord ng iyong gusto. You are not a tail. You are the head. You are not a borrower. You are the lender. Yun ang, yun ang ano, position ng gihatag ni Lord sa iyang mga, mga taong nangalagad sa iya. Hello, amen. Kaya ikaw, puro ka nagkakutang na magunaw ng kay Lord. God, ang imong word tinood ni, hindi pwede yung nani akong kahimtang. Mugawas ko, ah, ni Lord. Hello. Eh, kamong nagatuo, akong gideclare, mas set free mo karong to higana. Hello, amen? Hallelujah. Na? Kaya, faith is what? No, it's so, so important sa so, so believer. Faith is the currency. Faith, no, makes impossible possible. Faith can make us victorious. Amen? Hallelujah. Kaya how can I protect my faith? Ang faith is need to be protected because it's been attacked. Kaya daghan kayo ginagamit sa enemy ng mga tools, bullets. Diba? It describe society, some teaching. No? Mga things na mag-fed sa imuang mind. Na makapadiscourize sa imuang faith kay Lord. Oh, daghan man eh. Daghan yung mga attack sa faith na to. Kita nagtuta that, that the vision, what we are doing, the, the, the vision of God, which is to win the lost, is highway para sa atin, di ba? Highway na to na sa Christian life. No? While living in this earth, serving Jesus, we serve Him through what? by winning and making disciple. That is our daily journey sa life. Kasi mga disciples tayo kay Lord, di ba? Amen ba? Ganun. Kaya we are protecting our faith. Ha? And you know what? Sometimes it is attacked by, by other teachings also. Kana lang inon ka nga, look, busy ka mo ba? Murag ka murag ng busy. Ah, ang yawa ganit, di naman nga nagkakatulog. 
Ha? Ingat ni Peter, no? The, your enemy, the devil, is prowling like a lion, waiting for someone to be devoured. Imagine, pag ang usa ka Kristuhanon dili active sa iyang pagserve kay Lord, mo na nga na devour. Di kalihok, kaya napaakan na siyawa. Di makabanti sa pagalagad sa gino. No, wala ga grow, wala ga progress. Oh, tanawa gani, mandagan man malain na ni. Ako na pagkitirahan ni pastor, wala oy, dili. God is reminding you. Kasi your life, wala gi design ana nga kadugayon nga na stagnant na kada. Wala ka di pa, dapat dili ka malingaw sa kalibutan, malingaw ka sa imong kinabuhi nga ginagamit sa Ginoo. Mo na itinuod nga nangalagad kay Lord. Kaya nga itong kinabuhi, na dapat makahatag o pahimuot sa ginoo. Ha? Amen ba? Si Lord, mo-bless. Mo Malipay man tas mga butang na naabot na to. Pero labaw sa tanan. Nalipay si Lord kaya nag-obey ta sa iya. Hello? Ha? Mo na nga, we can protect our faith by this number one. By always pursuing spirituality. Ha? Huh? Everybody say always. Every day. This is your pursuit sa life. Seek first. Di lang ka siya giuna, but siya ang hinungdan. Nga nung nabuhi ka. Siya ang hinungdan, nga nung nakamata pa ka. Lord, ikaw ang dahilan. Bakit ako buhay ngayon? Ha? Huh? Amen ba? Pursue spirituality. Inam ta pa daw yung Satan ang cellphone. Ha? Kung <laughs> ba nang sige Facebook. Pastor nag notes ko. Very good. Pero usa ka pakli. Temptations. Ha? Pursue spirituality. No? Kaya kung 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 nasaptan ni mo ang Pursuing spirituality, ang, ang nasa imuang kasing-kasing o sa imuang ginasiguro kanunay sa imuang kagalingon ang imuang spiritual health. Ang spiritual health ni mo, kumusta man? Ha? Healthy ba yung spirituality natin? Healthy ba yung prayer life natin? Ha? Healthy ba yung The way we live, mumuningon ni Paul kay Timothy, your life, it shows, no, the way you live, it shows kung unsa ka diya sa ginoo. No, I have my PID this week, no, last, the, the, the other night. No, tungod kay nasa sa position nga diligid, basta-basta po. I'm just telling, ginainan din ako siya na Ayaw gunang-una ang tao ng butang sa imo diha. Ayaw pag una-una nga tungod sa imong kabrait o sa imong nangabot niabot ka diha. Una-una si Lord ng butang. Para kung naka diha, it pleases the Lord always. Kasi so prone kayo sa ano eh, mga bribery. Kung nga uh, ayaw ginang buhata bisag ka isa. The moment nga imo nang buhaton. Mawala yung credibility nimo. O sa lang ka-compromise. Dili ka maglisod ng kaugstand. Muna nga, barugan ni mo kung kinsa ka diha ni kay Lord. Amen? Ang gobyerno na kinanglan mga taong tinuod ron diya sa ginoo. Di lang buutan. Tao na na'y kahadlok yun sa ginoo. Amen? Ha? Spiritual healthy natin, health natin, we have to pursue it. Kaya nga, prayer number one, devotional life, ang ato ang corporate prayer life, appeal gina siya. Amen? Ang ato ang Bible readings, ang ato ang mga trainings. Amen? Everybody say trainings. Ang atong cell groups. Munang gibotang diyo, Romans 10, Verse 17, faith comes by hearing and hearing 
the word of God. Faith comes by hearing. Hello. Ina mo tapat, faith comes by hearing. Uh, you are formed by what you hear. Kaya ang word sa ginoo is the truth that will speak to you. Muna kung ang tao mo istorya sa imuha, mga amigo mo istorya sa imuha, nga wala kay klarong life, mo ilang base sa ilahang observation sa imuha, sa imuhang mga grado, ubos kay tanaw sa imo. But ay tuuhi, tuuhan ni mo ang word ni Lord. Siya ang tinood ng manual. Siya ang musulti o kinsa ka o unsa ka o unsa'y mahimo ni mo. Pag ang word sa ginoo mo mong tuuhan, kanang imong gituan mo na imong forma sa imong life. Makita sa imo ha. Amen? Munang ikaw nga tao, mahimo kang wonder. Ang tao mag-wonder sa imo na unsa ka. Unsa'y ditabo ni mo. Kay ikaw ang mga wonders. Ngay pakita ni Lord nila kung unsay gibuhat sa ginoo ni mo. Amen? Ha? Amen ba? Oo. Oh. Unsay ang mga tao daghan mo istorya negative. No? They are making judgment according to their observation. But you don't care. Nga naman. I know whom I believe. Amen ba? Nindot kayo ng word sa ginoo nga He will prepare a table before me before ah uh, he will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. O ganahan ko ana nga verse. Kay kun daghang manaway nako daghang mangaway nako sabi ni Lord I prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. The more kong i-bless ni Lord. Di ba? Suya kay na ba sa imong kontra sa mga tawong di ganahan nimo maglagot sila samot. Taon sa mani, ang ako gikalagutan. Gisda murman gipanalanginan, di ba? Basta si Lord nangingon, those who bless, I will bless. Di ba? Di ba? Muna yung ni, ni, ni Lord sa taon nag-alagad sa iya, si kay Abraham, Abraham, you become a blessing. Ha? Huh? He said, I will bless those who bless you. Kaya mo niya akong declare Lord, ang mga tao gid Lord, gagabless na ko, i-bless gid ni mo kayo. Amen ba? Si Abraham nang alagad sa kino. Kaya akong gi-declare ang mga tao nag-bless ni mo, i-bless po di Lord. Amen ba? Kini lang ang pangit. Whoever curses you, I will curse. <laughs> ha? Mo na nga we have to protect our faith. Padayon ta sa gino kay si Lord na ay pabor kanunay. Hello, amen? Kaya we keep ourselves, no, spirituality natin healthy. Amen? May lang di mo nang masakiton. Nga, nga, di ba ang bata, estudyante nga masakiton, sige absent? Ha? Kanang trabaho hindi nga, dili gato nga, absent sa trabaho tungod kay Masakiton. Mm-mm. Mailan ni mo ang usaka kristuhanon. Nga dili siya healthy spiritually. Ha-ha. Dagan absent. Dagan sa cell group, sa training, ano ba? <laughs> Tara yung tawad, kita na po yung naiguan, si Balay, di ba? Oo, niya daghang mga panahon nga di kabasa sa Bible. ah Protect. Amen ba? Hapakan naman tawad bin. Protect your spirituality, bro. Ha? I-pray mo tapad. I-pray siya. Uh, I pray for spiritual health, Lord. In Jesus' name. Magiging prayerful. Amen. Nag-study sa word. Pray pag siya. Lord, sa simbalay na siya pirmi. Ah. Sa cell group, Lord. Sa training, no? Kada nga to ang sabado nga prayer. Kung ikaw, naka-encounter ka, grabe yun. Pay the price. Amen ba? Hello. Kaya nga dapat on fire kay Lord. Ikadwa. No? Protect my faith by living a life that is pleasing to the Lord. Dili na magkinabuhi sa sala pa. Kaya ang kibutan nyo, get rid of what sinful living. Ha? Kabalo kang nga sala, ayaw na nang puhi, biyain na na. You are a new person. Munanggingon sa 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. 
If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Ayaw na i-justify. Sala, isala. Hadlo kayo na tubangan sa gino. Nangalagad na kay Lord, pero still living in this kind of, 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 of things. Dili gina makonsider sa Lord. Remember, namatay si Jesus sana. Ayaw na pasakiti ka nun eh. Hello, Amen? Si Lord, mangutan na good sa iyo. Do you really love me? Naigug mo ba ka sa ako? Yes, Lord, I love you. Ano mo po yung mangana? Hello? Kaya on sa meta mo sa life na ito, raba? Dili ba si Lord ang gabuhat? Gitagaan ni mong access ang forces of darkness na makakam in sa iyo life. Hello? Tabangan mo ka sa gino, oh? Amen ba? Ha? Ya Lord God, dilis ako ani God, undagon ko na ni Lord. Tabangan ka ni Lord, tagaan kag strength sa Lord. Hello. Kaya nga ingon sa 2 Timothy, no? 2:19 on sa gingon diha. But God's truth stand firm. Truth good, mo stand firm na like a foundation stone with this inscription. It means uh, immovable ang iyang word. Ang truth, ang standard sa Lord is immovable. Iyang ibutang ang quotations. The Lord knows who are His. The Lord knows those who are His. And all who belong to the Lord must what? Turn away from evil. Amen? Kung belong ka ni Lord, undango ni mo na. Ina mo tapat, undango na na. Ina mo kukulingan, undango ko na lagi. Ha? Amen? Turn away from evil. Everybody say, turn away from evil. Oh, mga simbalay, wherever you are, no, talikde ang kinabuhi sa pagpakasala. Lahi ang nakasala, lahi ang nagpuyo sa sala. Ha? Iba yung slide, iba yung niligid. Ngayon, nalapukan ka, na-slide ko. <laughs> Ikaw, nalapukan mo ka, nagpadidit ko. <laughs> Iba na yun. Ha? Mas nagagugaw yun ng padidit lang. Ha? Gina-enjoy, di ba? Pag padidit, ah! Pero na islet ka, agay! <laughs> Hinga na, magandang tao na. Pag nakasala, agay Lord, sorry kayo. Dangang ko ni Lord, di ko ganunan eh. Pero nagbuat ang sala, ng padidit, yay! Sabot mo sa magpadidit. Ang mga Tagalog, di ka sabot. No, yung nag-slide ba yun sa, sa putik ba? Yung slope, yun ang mga padidit. Huwag kayong padidit. Ha? Amen? No? Kaya ni mo na, mahawa niya. Kaya iya ka ni Lord. Naistred si Lord. Ayaw lang patuyangi mo ang lawas nung ka. Sa Bible, kalawas nung kaulag. Di ba? Ang ato ang kinaiya. Ang ato ang lawas sa katong unod. Kaya na to na. Amen? Hallelujah. No? Ikatulo. Protecting our faith is what? To keep yourself connected to your, to, to what? To godly community. No? Ang imong faith, kailangan siya makultivate sa mga kauban ni mo. Amen? Sa mga taong nangalagad po sa ginoo. Muna nga, refrain. Kung ang imong mga kabarkada kanunay di magtarong sa gino, nga nung magstay magkadaya kadugayan. The Bible says, bad company corrupts good character. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 5, very strong kayo nga word. Sabi niya, having a form of godliness but denying its power. Have nothing to do with such people. Doon sa NLT nga version, tanawan na. Kung sa kingon niya, they will act religious but they will reject the power that could make them godly. Naman din ang mga tao, kasi mabagya po, pero wake transformation sa life. Ha? Kaya si Paul, again, stay away from people like that. Makatakod sa ibang ana? Oo. Makatakod. Na stay away from those people, bro. Lahim ang ta-prinsipyo, di ba dyan ka? Gusto ko, gusto ko matininood sa ginoo. Uh, 
Kaya na ako'y close kayo nga kuhan ka niya ito. Medyo nag-distance yun mi. Ano man. Ah, Nainagin na, ako siya. Kabalo ka. Butang akong gilabay na. Inyo hanggit. Hanggit pang inom. Pag birthday na ako, nai naghatag sa kuwag ko. Double black. Gisalibag yun ako sa kasagbutan. Dili sa eklesiyan lahi sila nga group. Pero supposedly mga godly sila nga tao because they are ministers. Thank you, Lord. Hello? Compromisers are losers. Hello, amen. Ang nga compromise yun Enjoy na, na sila tanong sa Facebook. Pero ang kasing-kasing ana, wala na yung life ng gikan sa gino. Nagkong mga katawa, nagkong mga smile, mga post nila bisan asa, ay kaibog na. Kaya ang tinungod ng life, ka nang ikaw o si Lord. Nga kabalo ka, Lord, kabalo ko nga. Ang nga life ka nag-flow na ako, life ng gikan sa imo ha. Ah, Ayaw kayo mong tuhan ng mga po sa Facebook uh, lively. Ayaw. Tanawa sila. sa Tanawa na to ang ilang pag-alagad sa kino. Amen. Na? Protect our faith by committing ourselves to grow in the Lord. Ako kibutang niya ang word commit talaga kasi you have to do it. Kaya nga si Paul, in the book of Colossians, iyag yung gingnan ang mga taga-Colossians. Church ni sa Colossi, nga wala gin siya nakaanto. Colossians chapter 1, makita niyo na, I pray for you that you will know the knowledge of His will. Grabe talaga. I am praying for you that you will know the knowledge of His will. Ha? Huh? Kaya nga, so important nga pag-alagad sa gino. Dito mga alagad sa gino, nga murag mga ignorante. Kung nang alagad sa gino, we know, we know, kabaluta sa will ni Lord. Kaya si Paul sabi niya, I have not stopped praying for you. Since you first heard about you, we ask God to give you a complete knowledge of His will and to give you spiritual wisdom and understanding. Kaya pag-alagad sa gino, din uban-uban. It's a personal thing. Kaya you have to go and develop yourself knowing Him personally sa mong line. Kaya you have to commit to grow in the Lord. How to grow? Grow in the knowledge of Him. The more that you know Him, the more faith would rise within you. And because of this faith, the more experience you have in the Lord. Hello, Amen. Ako dilip. Muna yung ni John Maxwell, pwede ni mo dalo ng kabayo sa suba. Pwede ni mo mapugos pa inom. Pwede ko magtudlo ninyo. Pwede, pwede mo tagag Bible. Pwede mo dalo sell. Pero kung kamu mismo, dili willing, wala gaya pa yung may tapos sa inyo. We are living in the last days. I cannot protect your faith, but I could teach you. I could pray for you. Pero kung ikaw dili willing, ma-build up, Dili ka willing mag-discipline si mong self to grow in Him, then makita ni mo sa imong pag-serve sa ginawa. Amen? Kaya, kaya makaingon ba kasi mong kagalingon? Hindi mo sa commit to grow. Hmm. Amen? Kaganina, commit or or connect yourself to godly community. I, i, imong ialagaan ang imong ang imuhang self dia sa cell group. Ay, kung nang sa cell, ha? Kung na di ako, gawin na nang mag-lift the group sa iyang GCC ang group. Ayaw mong paghawa. Ah, uh, patiman mo. Kaya ang prinsipyo sa ginaw, pamagi sa ginaw sa pag-alagad sa iya, walay mag-solo ranger. Di mag-lone ranger. Ang design ni Lord is community. Kaya sabi niya, love one another. Di kay love one ay another. Love one another na ay pag-atiman, na ay pagdasig. Diba? Malipay ka, ay, nalipay ba kasi mong tapad? Nalipay ba kasi mong kauban sa life group? Oo. Kaya ako challenge sa inyo, next week na may madala pa diyan, lain. Para mas butubo inyong life group diya. 
Kasi kung buhi, magmutubo. Amen ba? Hello? 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 15 to 16. So, sige yun na. Get your complete attention to these matters. Gisogo ni Paul si Timothy. Throw yourself into your task that everyone else will see your progress. Hello, ang growth makita. O ang tinood ng nangalagad sa kino mo progress. Hello, tanawin mo tapad. Nag-progress ba kasi yung pagkasi leader? Nag-progress ba ka sa ibang training? Sa ibang pag-alagad sa kino, dapat mo progress ta. Walay stagnant yung nangalagad sa kino. Sa ibang pag-alagad sa kino, unsa ka, nag-progress ba ka? Evaluate ta. 16, ang sige yung onda. Keep a close watch on how you live on your teaching. Stay true to what is right for the sake of your own salvation and for the salvation of those who hear you. Because Timothy was called up by God. He, God entrusted to him people. Muna siya nga, tudluig yun sila, tudluig yun sila. Muna sa ako apod, pod, mutudlo yun ko. Kahit mingon, say, sakit, ispasto, misto niya ba? Praise God! Ah, ang kulago, sakit ko aon. Ang gisakitan, muna mga tao, ganay mga butang, na dapat ang galon. Ngawan na lang ko dili kay, grabe kay ba eh? Sakit ko. Basta, taong di mag gusto makuag kulago, di. Hello, amen. Ha? Dili magod siya. No? Last, kini. Kabalo na mo sa ilas. Sa kadugay niyo si Pamati Gwali na kabalo gin mo sa ilas. Fulfill your assignment lagi. Amen? We have all assignments. Ha? 2 Timothy chapter 4, yung sayo ni Paul dia, the first time I was brought before the judge, no one came with me. Morning permerong atubang ni Paul. Walay Give abandon si Paul. Oh. Everyone abandoned me. <laughs> because Paul was in prison because of doing his calling. Nasa mga companion, mga disciple niya, pero sa diha nga dito na siya sa trial, tanan ni Bia sa iya. And siya, may it not be counted against them. Kinimi akong ganaan, but the Lord stood with me and give me strength. Ha? The Lord stood with me and gave me strength so that I might preach the good news in its entirely, entirely, entirety in, for all the Gentiles to hear. Grabe si Paul. Ba? Ang iyang prayer, Lord, makagawas ko. Dilig, makagawas ko. But ang iyang experience, Wag yung line. Kahit gabanlon ko, kahit in trial ko, pagabot sa trial, wali lang yapon sa pulo sa gino. Hoy, paminaw. Ang reason bitaw, kung tanawin mo na yung verse, na'y strength si Paul. Na'y presence sa Lord. Wala siya mga yung strength para siyang trabaho sa online. Wala na ngayon sa strength para Lord God sa ako ang, ang iyang strength para makabuhat ko sa kong assignment. Kaya kung na may mga kusgan nga kristohanon, mga kristohanon yun na nga nagabuhat sa ilang assignment ni Lord. Amen? I want you to stand up. Father, in the name of Jesus, all of us, come on. Come on, just raise your hands. Just close your eyes. I pray your faith becomes strong. I pray today your faith becomes strong. You have enduring faith. Whatever situations, you will never lose your faith. Whatever challenge, you will stand your ground in your faith. Hallelujah. Come on. Just raise your hand. Father, Ang among faith 
magpabiling ligon hangtod sa imuhang pagbalik. Until you come, until you came, we will stand our faith. We believe in you. Hallelujah. Come on, say to him, I believe in you. If you are a first timer, I want you to come to him in faith. Tell him, Lord, sabat sa prayer ni mga Lord, I believe in you. I believe in your son, Jesus Christ, that he died for me to pay my sin. And he rose from the grave. He is alive. Father, forgive me, Lord, for all the sin that I have committed against you in mind, in words, and in deed. Lord, forgive me. And today, Lord, I declare that Jesus is Lord in my life. And I will serve him and follow him all the days of my life. I put my faith in him and I will obey him. Form me, Lord. Form me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Some of you, Nadia, medyo naluya ka. I want you to know you've just been in the season that God has bringing you. The reason na ka na, because Lord, nag uh, And you will know who you are. You will know who we are. Pag nata sa season. Makita rin mo yung faith kay Lord. Makita rin mo yung commitment kay Lord. Pag nata sa season. I want you to know, walay lai maka strength, dili sa imo, dili tao. Makata ko strength sa imo, dili tao. Dili, no one. Dili church. Si Lord lang. Si Paul, he was abandoned. But the Lord stood with him and gave him strength. Kaya karon kung kinsa may nagaluya, I want you to know, the reason why God allow you to hear the message because I believe it is God that's, that is telling you, my son, my daughter, I am with you. And I am here. And I am strengthening you so that you could f- fulfill the call that I have for you. If you are that person, just close your eyes and thank the Lord. And allow the Holy Spirit to minister to you. By faith, just close your eyes. The Lord is standing with you. Holy Spirit, right now, touch. Lord, touch. Lord touch. Bakit nga ba pinupuri kita? Bakit nga ba sinasamba ka? Bakit nga ba sa salamatan bakit nga ba bakit nga ba Worship Him, just close your eyes. Nice go.
I want you to know God is the one who first loves you. I pray today that God will fill you with love. So open your heart, just close your eyes. Receive the love of God. He loves you. Father, we love you. We honor you. Lord, hallelujah. We will stand our ground. Keep believing, Lord. Because of God, because you died for us. Making us your very own. And we belong to you, God. And your word says no one can snatch us out from your hand. We belong to you. Lord, I pray everyone in the symbol, everyone that hears us, connect with us, applying the blood of Jesus. You keep them, protect them, you save them, and blesses them. Even throughout the week, your hand is holding them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Amen. Pwede ba ni mo ignon ni mong tapad? Stand firm in your faith. No? We are so blessed this morning with the word of God that we have to protect our faith at all times. Saying na yung other side is at all times. No? Because our faith also will protect dili lang ato ang um, ato ang pag-journey dira sa ginoo but also this time our faith in giving will also protect our finances. Amen ba? So this time, let's read the Word of God in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 7. Ingon siya dira, Since you excel in so many ways, in your faith, your gifted speakers, your knowledge, your enthusiasm, and your love for us, I want you to excel also in this gracious act of giving. So also, let us read 2 Corinthians 9. Chapter uh, chapter 9, verses 6 to 7, Ingan Shadira, Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctant, reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. But this morning, no, my challenge for us in our area of giving is not just to give what is due to the Lord, but we have to give excellently. Amen. Ba? Because Anna siya no, sa 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8, siya dira, And God will generously provide all you need, then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. Amen ba? We need to be excellent no, in our area of obedience and generosity in our giving to God. No, for our excellence in obedience, no, we know that giving to God, our tithes will protect us. So in Malachi 3 verse 10, we always hear these verses, no? That our giving to God, our giving, our tithes, the 10% of everything that we have will protect everything that we do, protect our family, protect our finances, it protects our businesses, even our work. And that is the principle of God because in every obedience, we know that Every there's always breakthrough and miracles in the other side of obedience. In tapad obey. So as we obey, we are positioning ourselves because our faith, no, sa atong paghatag will protect us. Amen. And God's response to our faithful giving is not just abundance but overflow. Amen. Badili gusto si Lord nga basta basta lang ang imuhang receive but God is the God of overflow. Ang provision sa Lord nakadepende pod sa nakadako sa atong nakita. If you want breakthrough in the area of your finances, be faithful in giving your tithes and your offering to God. 
Next is our obedience in the area of our generosity. No, we believe that everything that we offer to God, nga makapalipay sa Lord, no, makita ni mo, no, it is always the best part. Ini mo tapad, give the best part. So that's why ingon sa dira, we give cheerfully because God loves a cheerful giver. So this morning, my challenge for us is for us to give. No, joyfully, let us give persistently because in verse and 8 in 2 Corinthians 9, He will give generously or provide you all you need so that you will always have everything plenty left over to share with others. So sa kanon no, diya sa imuhang naimutangan, sa imuhang simbalay, I want you to hold your offerings, I want you to hold your tithes, diya sa ginoo, as we give faithfully and excellently, diya sa ginoo, let us pray, Father in heaven, we thank you, we honor you God, salamat Lord, as we give, Lord, our tithes and offering, even our sacrificial givings, even other givings and seeds that we plant this morning. I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that Lord, whatever the desires, Lord, whatever the faith, Lord, ang ginabutang, gino sa matag nagahatag, I pray it shall come to pass. Whatever the dreams, Lord, and even the breakthroughs, Lord, sa ilang finances, Lord, it shall come to pass, O Lord. I pray that every giving, Lord, will give protection to every, Lord God, person that will faithfully, generously Lord God and obediently give this morning Lord salamat we are, we, we are declaring oh God Lord increase Lord in every businesses promotions in the name of Jesus Lord whatever Lord God we do it will prosper we thank you Lord and we honor you in Jesus name we pray amen and amen